Protein chemistry exams. Pollution of water by crude oil can lead to. Before we give an answer to this question, let us quickly look at this. Pollution of water by crude oil can lead to marine pollution. And a concept I want us to understand is that water and oil are immiscible. So, oil tends to flow on the surface of water when we mix or try to mix them together. So, this oil covering the surface of the water can lead to decrease in oxygen content and in this scenario the aquatic lives will be unable to respire and pollution of water by crude oil can also lead to decrease in evaporation because the oil tends to cover the surface of the water and that will also lead to decrease in rainfall so we can see that pollution by crude oil can directly or indirectly affect us as humans also and also marine life so from this explanation it is obvious that the correct answer to this question will simply be it will lead to a decrease in oxygen content which is option c question number three of jam 2015 chemistry oxygen in air can be removed using the correct answer to this question is option C. So for us to back up our answer, let us quickly look at some key facts about pyrogalor solution. So pyrogalor is an organic compound with the molecular formula C6H3OH subscript 3. Pyrogalor is a white solid and is very sensitive to oxygen. And because of that, it is used for oxygen absorption in gas analysis. So that makes option C the correct answer to this question. Question chemistry exams. Calculate the pH of a solution of 0 0.001 mole per dm cube hydrochloric acid. The correct answer to this question is option B, which is 4. So let us look at why option B is our correct answer. The first thing I want us to look at is the concentration of hydrochloric acid, which was given to us as 0.001 mole per dm cube. So if we convert that to standard form, simply going to be having 1 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 4. And let us also look at the ionization of hydrochloric acid. That will be HCl plus H2O, giving us H3O plus plus Cl minus. So by equation, we are given pH as the negative logarithm or negative log of hydrogen concentration which is this so if we do that we're simply going to be having the negative log of 10 raised to the power minus 4 which is the concentration in mole per dm cube of hydrogen ions so that will be minus 4 minus 4 log 10 we're simply going to be having our ph to be 4 which is minus minus giving us plus multiplied by 1. That is because log 10 is simply 1. And 4 times 1 will give us 4. That corresponds to option B in the equation. Question 5 of JAM 2015 chemistry exams is what we are looking at. Which of the following drying agents is not suitable for drying hydrogen sulfide? The correct answer to this question is sulfuric acid. Now, the reason is simple. This is because when you react hydrogen sulfide with sulfuric acid, hydrogen sulfide tends to oxidize sulfuric acid to sulfur, as seen in this reaction. So, the product becomes sulfur, and that tends to give us a reaction. So, for any drying agent to be suitable for drying a particular gas, it must not give a reaction when drying the gas. But that is not so in the case of hydrogen sulfide and sulfuric acid. Therefore, sulfuric acid is not suitable for drying hydrogen sulfide gas because of the reaction. Question 7 of the JAM 2015 chemistry exams. The presence of impurities in a solid will make the melting point to the correct answer to this question is option A, which is decrease. An easier way to remember this is that presence of impurities increases boiling point and decreases melting point. So for you to know more about this, visit our Jambite app.
Question number 8 of the JAM 2015 chemistry exams. The discovery that protons and neutrons are concentrated at the nucleus of an atom was postulated by... First thing I want us to know in trying to solve this problem is that many years ago, a man presented a model of an atom and called it the nuclear model of an atom. In this model, he postulated that subparticles of an atom the proton and neutron are concentrated at the nucleus of that atom. And the name of that man was N.S. Rutherford. So the correct answer to this question is option A. Question number 9 of the JAM 2015 chemistry exams. Which of the following is a hygroscopic substance? The first thing I want us to know in trying to solve this problem is that a hygroscopic substance is any substance that can attract and hold water molecules to itself, either through absorption or adsorption. And sodium nitrate is a typical example of such substance, and it is also soluble in water. Another point you need to know is that it becomes sticky when the water of crystallization is lost. So the correct answer to this question is option A, which is sodium nitrate. Question 10 of the JAM 2015 chemistry exams. In a chemical reaction, when the energy of the colliding reactant particles is less than the activation energy, the reaction will... The first thing I want us to know is activation energy designated by EA subscript A is the minimum energy required for a reaction to take place. Let's say A plus B giving us C plus D. And for the products to be formed in this reaction, the energy of the colliding reactant particles must not be less than the activation energy, otherwise the reaction will not occur. So in this question, if the energy of the colliding reactant particles is less than the activation energy, the reaction will definitely not occur. That is option B. Question number 13 of the JAM 2015 chemistry exams. In the reaction above, the reaction is favored by... The first thing I want us to know in trying to solve this problem is that the positive sign in the reaction tells us that this reaction is an endothermic reaction. That is to say heat is absorbed from the environment. And for such a reaction, the forward reaction can only be favored by increasing the temperature and making the reaction proceed in the forward direction. And so, the correct answer to this question is option D, which is increasing the temperature. Question 14, JAM 2015 chemistry exams. Which of the following halogens is the most reactive? Before we pick an answer from these options given to us, let us quickly look at halogens. These are elements found in the group 7 of the periodic table and these elements are highly reactive. They include fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine. And among these four elements we just looked at, the most reactive is fluorine followed by chlorine followed by bromine and iodine. So if we get back to the options given to us here, our correct answer will simply be option D, which is fluorine. Question number 32 of the JAM 2015 chemistry. The main product of the reaction between phosphorus 5 chloride and ethanol is I'm trying to solve this problem. The first thing I want us to do is to write down the equation of reaction. That will be ethanol reacting with phosphorus 5 chloride. Simply gonna be having chloroethane, PLCL3 and HCl. So the major product here is chloroethane. If you go back to our options, gonna be having option A as the correct answer. Question 33 of JAM 2015 Chemistry. The bond breaking energies in an endothermic reaction is usually we're given four options in this question, but before we attempt to give an answer to this question, I want us to know that endothermic reaction is a reaction that is positive, that is, heat is absorbed. And so we have that our heat of reaction, delta H, is equal to the summation of the bond breaking energies of the reactants, by the summation of the bond breaking energies of the product. And if the bond 
breaking energies of a reactant is less than that of the product, the reaction is exothermic, that is negative. And if the bond breaking energies of the reactant is greater than that of the product, the reaction becomes endothermic, that is positive. So we go back to our options, we're going to be having option B as the answer. Question 37 of Jam 2015 Chemistry Exams. Which of the following compounds will liberate carbon dioxide on reacting with sodium trioxocarbonate 4? The correct answer to this question is option B, which is ethanoic acid. We can prove this using the equation below. When we react ethanoic acid with sodium carbonate, we're simply going to be having sodium ethanoate, carbon four oxide and water as product. So this goes a long way to betray our answer, which is option B. Jam 2015 chemistry, question number 39. The preference in the usage of asbestos support to platinum block as a catalyst can be attributed to it. In one or two scenarios, we hear people say, I prefer A to B or I prefer B to A. This is because uh, there are several reasons why we can prefer one thing to another. In the case of this question, asbestos are preferred to platinum blocks as catalyst because of their decreased surface area. So if we go back to our options, we simply have option D as the correct answer, which is decreased surface area. Question number 40, JAM 2015 Chemistry. In the deduction of ethyl ethanoid with lithium aluminium hydride, the product obtained is, the first thing I want us to do in trying to solve this problem is to write down the equation or the reaction. So the reaction is simply ethyl ethanoid and lithium aluminium hydride. So when we react this together, simply going to be having ethanol. So the correct answer to this question is option A, which is ethanol. Question number 41 of Jam 2015 Chemistry. A sample of a salt was heated on a Bunsen flame. If the color of the flame turned bluish green, the metal present is likely to be. First thing I want us to know in trying to solve this problem is this is a question on qualitative analysis, which we can use in chemistry to detect the presence of certain metallic ions and based on the characteristics of elements in the emission spectrum copper gives a bluish green color so if we go back to our options the correct answer to this question will be option b which is copper question number 42 of the jam 2015 chemistry exams the salt that loses moisture on exposure to the atmosphere is said to be first thing i want us to know in trying to solve this kind of problem is there are three types of salt based on their behavior with water. The first one is a fluorescent, hygroscopic, and deliquescent. A fluorescent salt loses water on exposure to air. Hygroscopic absorbs water but do not form solution, while deliquescent absorbs water and forms solution in that water. So, when we look at these definitions I just gave, and we go back to our options in the question, simply going to be having option D as our correct answer. Question 46 of Jam 2015 Chemistry Exams. The color of an ophthalene in an alkaline medium is, the correct answer to this question is option C, which is pink. A very simple way to remember this is, in an alkaline medium, the color of an ophthalene is pink, and in an acidic medium, it is colorless. Question 50 of the JAM 2015 chemistry exams. Which of the following hydrocarbons will not undergo polymerization reaction? This is a question on hydrocarbons. The first thing I want us to know in trying to solve this problem is polymerization reaction is simply a reaction where smaller units of a compound called monomers come together to form larger units called polymers. And this reaction is limited to alkanes. This is because alkanes contain a single bond. So if we go back to our options, the correct answer to this question will simply be option D, which is N-butane. 